फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट दिस अपील इज अगेंस्ट अ जजमेंट एंड ऑर्डर डेटेड एटीन फेब्रवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी पास बाय द चेन्नई रीजनल बेंच ऑफ द आर्म्ड फोर्सेज ट्राइब्यूनल एलोइंग द एप्लीकेशन बींग ओ ए नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एटीन फाइल्ड बाय द रिस्पोंडेंट अबाउट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स आफ्टर ही वॉज डिस्चार्ज फ्रॉम द इंडियन आर्मी एंड होल्डिंग दैट द रिस्पोंडेंट वॉज एंटाइटल टू डिसेबिलिटी पेंशन The arrears were restricted to a period of three years prior to the date of application before the tribunal. The respondent was enrolled in the army on 26th March 1987. By an order dated 5th April 1997, the respondent was discharged from service on administrative grounds as an undesirable soldier under Rule 13-3 of the Army Rules 1954. The respondent had rendered service for nine years, seven months, and one day, excluding one hundred sixty-one days of non-qualifying service. Annexed to the appeal is a copy of the order, certificate of the commandant, dated twelfth October nineteen ninety-six, regarding the proposal to discharge the respondent. As per the certificate of the commandant, service of the respondent was no longer required. The cause of discharge was shown in paragraph twenty as undesirable soldier under Rule thirteen of Army Rules nineteen fifty four. At the time of discharge, the respondent was in low medical category. A meeting of the Release Medical Board held on thirtieth January nineteen ninety seven found right partial seizure with secondary generalization three forty five. neither attributable to nor aggravated by military service the disability was assessed at 20% for 2 years the respondent did not challenge his discharge under rule 133 of the army rules 1954 as an undesirable soldier the respondent however made an application claiming disability pension by order dated 19th may 1998 The office of the chief CDAP Allahabad rejected the claim of the respondent for disability pension. Relevant part of the said order reads as under. Accordingly, four clauses one and two of para one above, no disability pension is admissible under the existing rules. The above decision may please be communicated to the individual under registered post along with MAP's findings. and a clause may also be added therein that he may appeal against the decision not later than 6 months from the date of issue of this letter on such grounds as he may deem fit to put forth if desired by him a sum of rupees 10450 on account of invalid gratuity and a sum of rupees 15711 on account of dcrg has been admitted in case the individual dies before receiving dcrg amount it should not be paid to his heirs and the matter referred to g4 section of this office on 6 october 1998 the respondent filed an appeal against the rejection of disability pension the appellate authority rejected the appeal by a communication dated 11th january 2000 the respondent was informed that his appeal against rejection of disability pension had been rejected by the first appellate authority stop